For a while now, Razer Black Shark V2 Pro has been one of the best wireless gaming headsets on the market, and with its improved 2023 model, it's gotten even better. Featuring a new super wideband microphone and three times the battery life, the Razer Black Shark V2 Pro improves over its predecessor in almost every way. Welcome back to eBuyer. Today we're unboxing the Razer Black Shark V2 Pro 2023 edition, and I'm super excited to get into this, so let's just get into this. Straight away, I've already said it before, every time we look at something that's Razer, I'm a big fan of the Razer minimalist kind of exterior box art. And obviously it has everything you need to know on the back. This is the white version we're unboxing today of the Black Shark V2 Pro. And the 2023 version was very good. So I'm very excited to actually get into this one. Let me open the box. No one should trust me with a knife. This box does work as a carrying device if you wanted to obviously pack it away in here. It's still got that tangle on top as well to carry it around. So we'll just take this nice headset out. Ooh, that is very clean. We'll get to that in a second. We'll go through the rest of the box first. So we have our 2.4 USB dongle there. Unplug it. Has the green inside because uh, Razer really do like to go full on with their packaging. So we'll put that there. We also have our cables, which we'll pull out. And our, oh, it's come with more than just normal. We have our thank you card for choosing Razer. Protect your Razer gear today, insurance card, also a thank you card signed by the team. Always love that. Take that little piece off there. And obviously our setup card, I do love the white on black. That's very nice to me. Oh, it's come with stickers. I'm, I'm stealing the stickers. I'm not really stealing them. Um, obviously it goes through how to like set it up and what all the buttons and stuff like that do, but we'll cover that in today's video so you don't need it. I'm, I'm kidding, you do need it. It's also very pretty. Um, again, I've said this before, I'm a big fan of Razer's packaging. So obviously we have our, um, we have our USB-C cable with the white tips, USB-C to plug straight into the headset to charge it. it. It does have, again, we said this right at the beginning, an amazing battery life on this, up to 70 hours and uh, six hours of uh, play on 15 minutes of charging, which is kind of insane. Um, 70 hours on a wireless headset is insane in general. So we'll get into the actual specs of it in a moment. But I'll, and it also has a extender, which I always love. I'm a big fan of actually, no one really gives you an extender when you have one. So that's kind of cool. Be able to plug it in, charge it, and keep playing at the same time. I don't know why I untied this. I've kind of just caused problems for myself. So let's actually get into the bits we're all waiting for. Wait, it has, did I forget them? Did I forget the mic? <gasps> I have, I forgot the mic. Haha, <laughs> detachable mic. <laughs> so a cool part of this is obviously the detachable mic, meaning you can just unplug the mic and use this as your normal day-to-day -day headset. So for the sake of this, we're just gonna plug it in so we can know what it looks like. Now this is the super wideband microphone, which has an impressive quality over its predecessor. In the 2021 version, the microphone was quite kind of the downfall of this headset, but this microphone is actually really good. It's a 32 uh, kilo, kilohertz, so it's obviously a lot better than your 16 kilohertz kind of headset. So again, the clarity on this is quite good. And you can also go into Razer Synapse and you can add pre, um, EQs and prequels and stuff like that onto it so you can make your own sound profiles. And again, I'm just gushing because of how cool this headset is. So obviously this has the Bluetooth 5.2 and we talked about the 2.4 gigahertz dongle earlier. So this does work on anything. And obviously it does have those buttons on the side where you can triple tap it and switch between uh, modes and switch between devices. So that's really cool. So we'll go over all the buttons on it. Obviously you have your big volume dial, which I always love the big one because you can just, there's no fiddling with the back of it like most of the headsets. Obviously you have your USB button there where you click it three times, it switches between them. And if you hold it down and press it, it goes into your modes and you can cycle through them like normal. We also have our mute and unmute button as well as our on button and then our USB-C Type-C charging. So this is all uh, fake leather and memory foam and apparently it's a lot more soundproofing on it and it is because I cannot hear myself. This is fantastic. Appearance wise, this is almost identical to its 2020 uh, variant, but obviously inside it's a lot better. It's got your 50 millimeter drivers. It's got your THX uh, spiral audio as well as your surround sound. It's also again, a lot comfier and a lot, ugh, 
just nicer on the head, <laughs> a lot comfier. Now this is primarily a PC headset, so you do have your 2.4 dongle, but it also has Bluetooth, which means it will work on your phone. You can also detach the mic, put it on, and then it's just an everyday headset. Um, and also your PlayStation 4 and stuff like that. So it is kind of a very good universal microphone. Now this headset obviously has great audio quality for a gaming headset, and you can also use, like I said, Razer Synapse to apply EQs and stuff like that. But you can also use Razer Synapse to store uh, gaming profiles onto the actual headset themselves. You don't even need Synapse to continue being on your PC if you wanted to. They actually get remembered on the headset themselves. So you can set them for games, so Apex Legends, CSGO, you can set specific uh, sound profiles for each one and then just cycle through them on the actual headset themselves by pressing the button three times, it'll enter the mode and you can just click it once and it'll cycle all the way through them. So that's kind of good. Also has, sorry, if you tap the button three times, it goes into eSports mode and then if you tap them once, it goes into the actual profiles that you have. So in eSports mode, I guess it just lowers the lat latency of the actual Bluetooth and just kind of brings out those more sounding footsteps and stuff like that. And it is quite comfy on the head, it does have a little bit more clamp and soft, softer than the last one they had. So overall, I think this headset is pretty good for wireless headset gaming standards. Thank you for watching this video of the unboxing of the Razer Black Shark V2 Pro gaming headset. If you want to pick up yours today, you can go down to the description down below and get yours over at ebuy.com. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.